Hey guys, Head with Solomon's Landscape here. Uh, sorry I'm not uh, showing my face right now since, well, I can't figure out how to switch back and forth um, with the uh, with the camera. But anyways, we're at a job site today. It's uh, January 18th, 19th, something like that. Mid-January. Uh, days kind of, kind, of, kind of run together. Uh, we're headed here at a job site. It's kind of a little bit cold. But one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today was... Bermuda grass and the invasiveness of Bermuda grass. So if you see over here to our left, we have actually created beds. So all the way basically this brown, nice, beautiful Bermuda grass went all the way up to the foundation of the house. And so what happened um, there is we actually tore out the Bermuda the grass, Bermuda grass. And uh, so what? why we did that is because Bermuda tends to be very invasive and uh, unfortunately if you just knock it down with a weed eater and spray it out uh, it's going to be coming through the mulch uh, pretty bad in the springtime and you'll be just fighting it all summer all summer long and probably for a good couple of years uh, we just took over the maintenance on this property so that's not an issue so that's the reason why we tore out the Bermuda grass so anytime you're doing new beds creating new beds um, with Bermuda a lot of times we will tear out the sod just because of the fact that it's so invasive and despite the fact that and even despite the fact that we tore it out uh, we came in here tore it out with machines and shovels um, uh, last week and uh, so despite that uh, we probably will be fighting it somewhat all season long uh, it just won't be nearly as bad as if we just cut it and spray it we'd be fighting it a whole lot more so we will still get Bermuda coming through it just won't be as much um, or as bad I know we've done it in the past, actually from experience we've done it in the past where we did weed eat uh, and spray out Bermuda grass in the springtime and pretty much we were fighting, you can see it start popping up uh, literally like a month later and uh, I mean we were constantly having to spray it the whole season and so we started uh, from like I said from experience tearing it all out completely and so that way you're back to bare dirt and get a good majority of it. Uh, looks kind of iffy right now, a little, a little ugly, a little in some places, but uh, it'll get all nice and cleaned up. But that's uh, what uh, you'd want to do whenever you're creating new beds out of a broom root grass is just go ahead and cut it out to avoid the hassle um, and the pain to of keeping it out of the bed. Uh, we still, like I said, we still will a little bit, but not nearly as bad as it would be if it wasn't tore out. Uh, we'd be, uh, in fact, I think the client would be pretty unhappy because uh, they'd see that Bermuda grass coming through regularly if we didn't tear it out. So, but like I said, we took off the good two to two to four, four inches of soil to get that uh, Bermuda grass out. Obviously, though, just the way it grows, it kind of creeps along the ground. Um, it actually <clears throat> will root in the ground, so creep root in, sprout under, so it'll actually have runners on top of the soil and under the soil as well. And so that's why it's so hard to get rid of and uh, such a pain in the butt in our beds uh, just because of the nature of Bermuda grass. And so that's what I would recommend. We'll come back and clean the edges up. But essentially, if you're creating beds where there is Bermuda grass, go ahead and uh, take the time, spend a little extra, little extra time to tear it out just because it will come back with a vengeance if you don't uh, and like i said even when you do it still will not to the extent that it would although it would if you did not so just take that quick advice from experience actually like i said um and so you know here in the south if you got bermuda grass you're creating new beds i'd take the time to go ahead and cut out the sod thank you very much that's Ed Solomon's Landscape, and hope you have a great day.